Mabu, hey. Welcome to IMHO. In my homosexual opinion. I'm Darby. And I'm Alexis P. Bevels. The P today stands for... Poogies. No, no, no. No. You'll get it for the next episode. Welcome back, everybody. We are so happy to be returning to the Philippines. And wow, what beautiful weather we're having today in the Philippines. Actually, yeah. at time of filming, this is the eve of LA's hurricane. Yeah, so by the time this comes out, we'll we might drowned. be fully underwater. Now, okay, can you share with the people this I'm so, okay, that you're having? a few months ago, I saw a video on Twitter that was like, the valley is due for a flooding because every like couple hundred years, the valley just floods and it's a lake now. And it's coming up to the next eight years that we're, we're supposed to get a huge flood. And so that mixed with this Hurricane Hillary coming in has- But our emails. Also, I have been through hurricanes before. I lived in Texas. Yeah. That happened there. My yeah. family's in Florida. They have been through a bunch. They deserve and I, more. And, I, and I, I'm not really scared because I know we're far inland, but I've never been in Valley. I've always been on like upper ground. Oh, no. And you know the city's not set up for water. Well, we do have those giant rivets in the road that you have to slow down for. Right, but the water doesn't go in there. It does sometimes. It's kind of fun when you realize like, oh wait, that it's doing what it's supposed to. I'm not worried about it because you get all of your information from Twitter videos. I get all my information from TikTok videos, which is mm. real science. We're not supposed to get anything crazy. I also just like things, just have, been, rain. things have been going okay and I needed something new to be anxiety. I better. like that though. Hey, yeah. listen, push it towards the the weather. Well, before I do we have drown, my I ahead. do have my go bag ready. I am gonna put some of my favorite gowns in there because I'm not oh. wasting those. I hope it's a really big bag. You've got so many gowns. No, just some, just like a couple. Beautiful gowns, beautiful gowns. Beautiful gowns, and then like I got some Ziploc bags to put my electronics in for Your when I have to gowns. swim out. Right, right. Luckily, in my apartment, there is a hatch right outside <laughs> my bedroom door to you the live ceiling. On the third floor. But we live in a valley, which. <laughs> Could be the bottom of a lake soon. They're we could be IMHO, they died. IMHO, they died, in my homosexual opinion. No. They died. I think we're gonna be fine, but if we're not, this no one will ever fun. see this. No one will ever see this video, because I'll have drowned. At time of filming, not only is a hurricane coming to town, but a hurricane just blew through. <laughs> a hurricane of laughs. <laughs> a hurricane of laughs. Yeah. Last night we saw Juno Birch live. We did. Listen, Juno oh. Birch, she's fucking weird as fuck. I love she her. She told us exactly what we were to expect, which was nothing to make sense, and she delivered on that. She's and I loved so every delightful. minute of it. I adore she her. She was beautiful. She Remember was when we funny. met her and you had no idea it was her until afterwards? Yeah. That's I funny. think that's how I should meet people. Yeah, so we saw Juno last night and ugh. Just so happy for her. It was really beautiful. Good for we, her. It was a really cool she space. She's funny. Too. It was she creepy. she do sing. Did you know she's she funny? Do sing? I didn't know she do sing. I, I mean, I knew she, she could. I knew she had it in her. And then you had to work today. I'm so sorry, but I went to no, that slut right after. Oh, how was it? So fun. I ran into Margaret Ia. Oh my god. She's, she's in town. I guess it's KCON, Korean Con. I checked it. There's no Korean dramas. Okay, it's all Korean music. Call me when the actors arrive. I have a couple questions. Y'all, I just finished, listen, I'm so sorry. I just finished a Korean drama. It's 16 episodes, so I spent 16 hours with this show. It's called Misty. And I signed on to it because it's a female lead. I'm already in. Okay. Her husband is wildly hot, insanely we, hot. Yeah, that's good. And murder mystery, right? I mean, oh. I'm in who died? Oh, I can't reveal that. Actually, no, you find out in the first five minutes. Misty? Her, her ex-boyfriend dies. Oh, Ex-lover, well, oh. whatever. But here's the thing. And I enjoyed parts of it, but it was so frustrating. You never knew who to root for. Like, you know, at some point, a character fully develops at some point in the show, and you know at least you have that steadiness to follow. Like, yeah. you know that those relationships, there was no steadiness, even to the end, even to the final scene. Yeah. Who... 
am I rooting for? You know, I'm going 16 the, hours! You know, I'm going through the same thing with Angela. I would watch like that it if I were you. Two. Yeah? I don't know who to root for. Che Diaz, what a stupid question. Right. Speaking of ex-boyfriends, yeah. someone came into, this, into the storage chain where I work, the place where I work, and they looked like all... I, w I would say I've had three boyfriends in my past. Sure. My past life. Yeah, of course. So it doesn't count. Yeah, yeah. One of them definitely doesn't count. Because they died. Well, I wish they died. This guy looked like a ma an amalgamation of all three. He was tall, like my favorite, Phil, one ball. Right. He was kind of fruity looking, like Oliver. Mm hmm And then... Um, he had warts like the third one. <laughs> Maybe! <laughs> I saw Fina Barbatal. Oh, we love her. She's skinny now. Friend of the po I know. She got her she got her stomach taken out. Gross! My culture is not a costume. <laughs> God, she's such a good performer, though. Last night's fat slot yeah. was so good. Kyra Jate. Oh, yeah. Are you yes. kidding? No, no, no. Barbara Wire. Oh, we Are love Are you kidding? No. I had a great time. Cool. And and Juno Birch came again over there. Juno Birch, what? Yeah. Did she do? What did she do? Anything from the show? Or did no, she no, do no. It? She judged the eating contest. She wore her hot oh. dog. Oh. Yeah. I did have to leave before then because you know the eating contest didn't start till like one a.m. and that's beyond my abilities yeah. at my late stage. I in life. let me let's get vulnerable. Uh oh. My Uber got there. We were all standing there. And my yeah. Uber pulled up, and I just ran. I said bye, and I ran. Yeah. Was that rude to y'all, or did you feel like it was rude? No, I didn't feel it was rude at all. No one. Felt it was rude. Okay. I because I was like felt your mood shift, and I was like, she just wants to get home. We should just let her yeah, get yeah, home. yeah 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 yeah. Because I was no, we all got it. Because afterwards, was... I was like, I'm done. Yeah. My sleep lately, my sleep schedule is like go to bed at nine and wake up at like five six, and I'm not drinking coffee, Sleeping so it's like my nine body... to five. It's a fucked up schedule. Sleeping nine to five. What else rhymes with schedule? Leave it in the comments below. Alexis, whoa. What, what just happened? Where are we? We're out of drag. Mm. Ah! I like how your reaction <laughs> was to hum. That makes sense. The sponsor of today's video, of course, is Manscaped, the premium brand for men's grooming and hygiene across the globe. No, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah. But literally everyone has hair that they can scape. Yeah, anyone can escape from men. I think I read that wrong. Alexis was right. Oh, that hurt. I can't say that. <laughs> what Alexis said was true, right? We all have hair. Some of us more than others. Thank you so much, Manscaped, for sending us your products so we could try it out. <gasps> oh my god, is that a trimmer? It's not just a trimmer. It's the lawnmower 4.0. You know, I have such trauma around lawnmowers because my dad would say mow the lawn and then I couldn't get it started because he would like prime it and then you had to like pull the string and it never worked for me and then he would come out and just look at it and it would start and I would be so mad and then after all that trauma I had to mow the lawn is that like that no this one's really easy to turn on you just press the button <gasps> what I love about this is not just that it turns on it also has a light okay oh. because when you're in your downstairs hang on let me when you're in your downstairs area, sometimes it's hard to see because yeah. there's so many folds. And I always do my upkeep in the dark. Right, right, right. All it's, the lights off. It's body shaming and, right. and I should stop doing that to her. Yeah. That's on me. So Alexis, I would like to share with you a very personal story um, about someone you know and love and some oh. would say heroify. Chan. God damn it. No, me. Oh. I used this earlier today. You did? Smell me. <laughs> okay. Now, one thing that makes me really nervous, it took me a long time to start shaving my balls. Did I ever tell you that? I was hooking up with this guy, this straight guy, LOL. He always had the smoothest balls. I thought he just came that way. Like, uh, <laughs> it was like, just like his settings. Like a candle. Know. Yeah. And um, I gotta say, my balls are smooth and intact. It is waterproof, so you can use it in the shower. I'm can you take it in the pool? No, so it's not like 100%, like it's still electronic. And also, Alexis, you can travel with this shit. Really? Yeah. They so won't steal it in security? They will because they're jealous, but not oh. because you can't have it on a plane. Although, don't shave on a plane. What's wrong with you? It has a travel lock, so if you press this three times, now it's locked. It's not gonna turn on. But then if you press it three more times, it's off. Ha! Ah! Stop, not... We all have hair on our bodies, but we also have stink. Now, Manscaped has all the products and liquid formulations you need for your three big odor zones. Of course, that is... Body, 
Uh, but, but, and my personal favorite, the balls. balls. Yes, absolutely. The stinkiest. <laughs> well, it depends on how you do it. My favorite product from Manscaped is the Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant. Now listen, I didn't ask for these, but they're here. <laughs> So might as well make the best of it, right? And make them nice and fresh, you yeah. know what I mean? They're not just for balls, they're also for outdoor ovaries. So after I take... <laughs> not outdoor ovaries. What are you supposed to call Yeah, it? that's right. And it smells really good too. <laughs> Thank you for the demonstration. But let's say that you're out and about and the deodorant, it can only do so much. And you need a little boost, right? You know that you're gonna put your balls in someone's face a little later in the day. That is why they also include Crop Reviver. It's ball mm. toner. So you just spray it on the go. Do you feel it? Yeah, it's cooling. Okay, good. I'm kind of jealous, like I don't want my own. Okay, Lex is fine. What? The good people at Manscaped, they sent you one too. <gasps> Are these boxers? For a limited time, when you order, you get two free gifts, including a pair of very stretchy boxer briefs. Ow. Those are nice. Also, a carrying case. I've Perfect. never touched one before, but I imagine this is what a football feels like. Hike. So if you would like to get Manscaped in your areas, head over to manscaped.com, use code IMHO at checkout, you get 20% off, free international shipping, and the two free gifts. Yes, I'm talking about those stretchy, stretchy boxer briefs, and of course the travel case. Thanks, Manscaped. Shave your balls today. <sighs> Manscaped. When you need, when you need it. Well, that was the end of Manscaped. Oh. Why are you heart and why am I spooky? Oh my I god, spooky? thank you so much for asking. I really didn't think you would. If you watched Drag Race Philippines, well if you haven't, why are you Ooh. here? But if you watched it, you know that they had to create costumes, match, not matching, an interpretation of holidays? What would you With call With the it? holiday theme. They mm. each got different holidays, they got Damn. paired up, but guess what? They weren't paired up to do it together. They were paired up to compete against each other, which I fucking I loved. Excuse me. Because you Matilda wins up. the mini challenge, right? She sees all the boxes come in and she gets to pick her partner first. And she thinks she's picking a partner. A, a safe a a friend. So she sees Ovi Cunt, Miss Spooky Queen over there. Yeah. She sees Halloween box and yeah. she goes, Well, I'm not an idiot. Obviously, I'm not a huge I'm dumb pick, dumb. I'm not a huge stupid bitch. I'm not a stupid I'm gonna... Ovi. Cunt you can say it as long as you say cunt, comma, Ovi, because then it's like phone yeah. books. You remember those? So she picks her, and then Mama Pal's like, psych, you idiots. <laughs> I don't know how to say that in Tagalog, but they find out that they're actually competing against who they just chose Ooh. to be with, and I love that. Yeah. I love the drama that, of it. I, Philippines brings the drama in a way that other Oof. franchises don't anymore. They're they're, una, they're unafraid of it. I will say that it was a bit of a bummer when the groups finally met. I didn't like that there was some history with Cat Cat because of, of everyone mm. in the cast. There's three trans girls. I'm automatically rooting. So to, to hear this what? veteran trans woman because of, well, I wouldn't say a friend, but like a work acquaintance I know recently started her transition and so now I'm being ally. Ally. But yeah, so there is some drama. I don't know the full story of it, but I do know that Which the drama- Which is good. I don't want too much too fast. Exactly. Give us some breadcrumbs. Did you watch Untucked this week? No, I didn't because I, I didn't want to. I haven't been watching Untucked and then the comments are like, you have to watch Untucked. You get more of the story. Did you get more of the story? I did, but I don't want to ruin what happens with them. So let's talk about that and we'll get to it. Okay. But there was some Cat Cat Miss Jade drama, which was, oh God, it sucked. No. Anyway, what was the, do we know anything? No. If I fart, would you be so mad? Yes. Okay, I won't. I, I won't. You gave me last night, you fed me tortilla soup. Yeah. And I've been farting and shitting all day. Do not blame the soup. <laughs> I blame Let's talk the through shoe. your diet. I blame it. My diet's been How better. How much fiber one did you eat? Uh, not today. Well, <laughs> I got, okay. I got so high the other night and we didn't have any food in the house, but I was, I felt too high to go to the store because I'd have to cross the street and I just don't trust myself. Well, it's not just, a, in your defense, it's not just across the street. It's across the street and walk half a block. And a, go through, a little and bit go through too light, long. And go through light. Anyway, so the only thing we have in the house 
were these incredible. They taste, they taste so, so good. Long. These fiber one oh, birthday, birthday cake, cake like squares. squares. I do the blueberry crumble, coffee oh, cake crumble right now. I got the like jumbo size box. I ate more than half the box in one <laughs> sitting because I was so high. And the next 24 hours was not daunting. Cake. No, it was not birthday cake. I farted the most <laughs> creative <laughs> smells I think I ever have. <laughs> and it took me a while to realize that it was the fiber one of it all. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend doing that, but I learned more about the inside of my body and just how beautiful it can be. I think that's fabulous. You know, Curtis is so lucky. Let's just go to the runway. We're starting with Mama Pow. She She's has... wearing moto jacket, futuristic. Now, I don't usually like when drag queens go the kind of campy route where they wear furry, fuzzy stuff. I think that's been done. It's not very creative and mm. it's it's shallow and pedantic, frankly. Also, it's offensive to animals. I know that it's not real fur, but like it's kind of appropriating their culture. Their fur. Their cold fur. And Chris cold fur. I had the hardest time with Glee because this was at a time where I really hadn't fully come to terms with the fact that I wasn't an incredible singer, that I'm a good singer, but I'm not an incredible singer. Mm -hmm. So watching Chris cold fur be me on television, mm. I struggled, but I'm so glad I didn't make it on that show because the odds are stacked against you. I'd probably be dead. I watched Glee in a time where Hulu was free. Mm. And I watched the first season of Glee on a desktop, a giant desktop. I watched it somewhere where I was being gay. It was really narrow. I down. was being gay. You know what? I think about moving before I was a drag queen. Mm. How much easier it was. I thought it was horrible. Little did I know. You bought into the Dan Savage hashtag things get better a little too hard. No. You didn't have to realize there is another hashtag to that. Yeah. Things could be way worse. Yeah. Just stick around, you queer. Did you ever call into his pod? I didn't. I didn't listen to the pod. I did write him an email once after Do you think it his boyfriend turned me down. It got read. Oh, did you email him about that? No. No, I didn't. <laughs> I did want to be like, hey, remember when you flirted with me and it seemed like it was going to happen and then your husband walked in and was like, no. I was peak twink. <laughs> I was pinkdom. Okay? I was at the top of my game. I had abs for no reason and I had a terrible personality. I was ready for him. But I also didn't know how to fully like prepare to bottom because we barely had the internet. So I, I, I would have shit on him. I would have shit on Dan Savage. That would have been fun. I still would. You could have been the inspiration behind... A new column? No, no, no. What was that guy's name? Santorum. Oh, Rick Santorum. Where is he? Because Dan, cause Dan Savage him. coined Santorum as like right. fecal matter come. And it does happen. Yeah. I called in once. What'd you say? And they played it. First of all, I was drunk. <laughs> I should not have called. Right. I was about a guy I met at Steamworks and I wanted to be a fuck buddy, but he was treating me like a... Like a comrade. Like, a, no, he wouldn't even treat me like a comrade. Oh, that's sad. He was treating me like I was too precious. And I was. Like I was too sweet to be that dirty. And I was at the time, but I really wanted to. I can be dirty. Do you want me to talk about your... Calm. First up, according to what I pulled from the internet, we have the birthday girls. Oh, yes. We have Varushka, and then we have her love interest now. I like a drag race love story. I guess. I didn't get a whole lot of warm vibes from Varushka's edit on this episode, but if Arizona's into it, I mean, she's hot. The judges really liked Varushka's look. I do, too. I think it's pretty. Oh, you do? I think it's fun. Okay. I mean, it's a lot going on. Yeah. Once I heard I like the judges' the critiques, I understood out of the pair, they picked the person that was an immediate that is that holiday. They did not want interpretations, which I think would have been helpful for them to say up front when giving them the instructions. Clearly. F Filipino pinata. Clearly. Filipino pinata. Arizona. That, that's the P for today. Thank you for doing that. Filipinata. We were, they were waiting. People were about to turn this well, off. Well, that's a fun thing. Maybe I maybe I don't do the P right at the beginning. Maybe I trickle you the P it. down. I tease the P. Tease the P. And we find it together. Yeah. And then you get your P all over us. I like this. I know, but it's so sweaty. And as you touch my back, I just feel all the moisture. I preferred Arizona's look because at least I could see what she was doing. Arizona's looks but cunty. It's, but it's all red and they wanted birthday party and they said this looked more Valentine's, which fair enough. 
if I was picking one that, what's the birthday party? I guess just this birthday party is definitely on acid. It is, it's wild. Have you ever been to a birthday party on acid? I've never done acid. Oh. I'm afraid I would cut my arm off and eat it. Yeah, you would. I got beautiful arms. You know that scene in Aladdin where they fly and everything's crumbling down because he accidentally touched something else? And mm. then, it, even though he touches the rug, and that's technically something, but whatever, I guess the rug's not treasure to the eye of Sauron or whatever. It was his friend the whole time though, which is the ultimate treasure. Friendship. Anyway, you know when the lava is like bubbling and boiling? Sure. That's what acid does to like the walls. Like everything is just like <laughs> Up next we have Christmas. Oh, we have Bernie fuck. and Miss Jade. Bernie and Miss Jade, so. Let's start with Miss Jade. Because it starts and ends here. This is fucking gorgeous. It's wild. She's a little bit poison ivy Christmas, but I love it. And then and Bernie's is Bernie beautiful looks great. too. I do like when they were doing the Christmas judges. tree so skirt. So what they did is they would pick one would be in the top and then one would be in the bottom no matter yeah. what. And I do like when they were going through Bernie was technically in the bottom, but all but the judges were like But it was only because it was Miss Jade. So yeah, they kept her. saying like you do not belong in the bottom. As far as we're concerned, you're not in the bottom. So I'm glad at least Bernie didn't have to sweat it because she looked yeah. so good. I like that they both went for devil horns because ultimately Christianity Santa is a, a, is a devil. kraken. Or what is he? Right. Kra Kraus? What? What's the scary version of Santa Claus? Oh. Krampus. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> then we have Valentine's Day. That's who your look is. Well, because everyone loves me, I'm filled with love. Mm. Oh yeah, by the way, the people who stopped and said hello to me at bar or at theater, thank you for doing that. It means the world to me. And if I come off as like scared, it's just because I am. Let's start over here with Miss Cat Cat. Cute. But then we head over to Dee Dee. Oh, Dee Dee looks really good. I dug it. I do like how Dee Dee built the little headpiece thing or whatever. And then literally Cat Cat goes, oh, well, I'm not gonna let her outshine me. I'm gonna make one too. And so she made one because of that. That's petty, it's small, it's great. Yeah. I also wanna applaud Matilda for putting them together because she knew about their rivalry. The drama. The drama. Yeah. She's like, well, might as well. She put that Candy Muse producer hat on and she wore it hard. Hard. Yeah. Then we had a fiesta. So first up, let's just go with the winner. It's Hana. Mm -hmm. Now Hana, she's Flowers. a seamstress, and it's very colorful, vibrant. Exactly. And I think if I like, if you look back to Barushka's look, I think the judges like that. I think they like kind of to be visually assaulted. Yeah. They like a clear right. message. And then we had Tiny, and I love Tiny's look. I do agree. It doesn't read immediately like fiesta like party, fiesta. party, but. It's cute. Yeah. She did say, this was my interpretation. I wanted to like be a little more monochromatic and make it more fashion. So again, I think it would have been helpful for them to tell the girls ahead of time that they want a literal interpretation of the holiday because she didn't do that as a protest to the rules. They didn't know the parameters of what the judges were looking for ahead of time. And, and a lot kind of, of times you don't know what the parameters are. But a lot of times- For anything. Exactly. Sometimes people laws. have, you just have to see other people fuck up and then know that those are the parameters. And that's fun. And that's what being a last child is all about, a baby child. Because I watch my sisters fuck up time and time again. Okay, but to be fair, <gasps> sister their parents, today? sorry, your parents fucked them up with their names. My oldest sister texted me today and she said, I miss you. And I was like, is that for me? She's like, I think of you and I miss you. Did you, and what I'm did like, you say? I was like, oh. Really? <laughs> I go, really? Oh, I miss you too. Isn't that sweet? That's nice. She told me some tea about her work, but she was like, you can't talk about it on the show. Because one of her coworkers watches. Hi. Hi, you. My sister doesn't Anal watch. backwards or A rim backwards? A rim. A rim. Backwards. I like that. Listen, I need you to clearly define the word T and the appropriate way to use it, okay? Why? Because this week, I get a text from her and she says, hey, call me later, I have tea on somebody. That sounds fun, that sounds gossipy. Oh, is there like money involved? Do they have a secret family? Like what could the tea be? This is gonna be fun gossip. And then I call you. You didn't think that was good tea? It's devastating, it's devastating, it's devastating. 
It's sad. That's not tea. That's like black coffee. Tea can be sad. Have you ever drank it? If I was gonna share the news that you shared with me, I would I would text you and don't. I, I would say, hey, do you have the emotional capacity? I literally said that to you. But you started with, call me if you want some tea. Like that sounds so fun and silly. Okay, Not but I like, have to truncate my sentences when I text you. That's true. I have to shorten things and make them as concise as possible. Okay, so would you describe that as tea? Yes, I thought it was interesting. It really shed some light. The, the item the blind item really shed some light on me and where I came from. Okay, in the future, if you have some devastating, and I love hearing it, please never don't tell me. I love that shit. Oh, you're, you're. But can you say, hey, I've got some sad news. So call me when you get a chance. Because then I'm ready. I I'm, thought the tea is like the truth. Like the truth of the matter. It is, but And also gossip and... Well, now that straight people have are using it, like I don't think it means anything anymore. But to yeah. me, for me, part of me, it's more of a you like... You wanted a fun, uplifting... It's a fun! It's fun. Instead, it was so sad. We need to come up with a new term that when you need to share trauma, someone else's <laughs> trauma with me... Which starts with which tea. Which I love. What about, okay, so you want me to phrase it a different way. So I would say, I heard the most fucked up thing about so-and-so. Do you want to hear it? Well, when you say it like that, that also sounds fun. <laughs> Your thing wasn't fun, it was devastating. I couldn't giggle. So the next time you find out something devastating, just like phrase it differently. By the way, I'm so sorry that happened to you. Okay. <laughs> Then we move into Halloween. Let's start with the easiest one to talk about. Let's start with Matilda. Great. The judges loved it because they said immediately oh, yeah, Halloween. she walked out and it was Halloween. Yeah. She's got orange. She's got black. She's All got spider. She's, she's got letters. Yeah. You know, I love a Halloween letter. Now, Ovi Cunt, she went for a more kind of editorial, editorial magazine. I got to be honest with you. I love Ovi Cunt's look. I would look at this and say this is spooky Halloween. I would say, I would say. The issue, I think, at least for me, I don't know if the judges said this or not, you could see her corset. And when you're doing a design challenge, we have to build an outfit. Seeing the corset and seeing that something is like attached to the corset is always kind of a no-no. But outside of that, yeah. I don't remember who said it, but someone said like, I didn't get Halloween from this. And I was like, what did you get? What did, yeah, what's what did not you get? Halloween about this? What did, what what did you get? What did you? It's almost as if she. Oh, what? I don't have anything. I was gonna do like it's all. It's almost as if she said this is Halloween, but then the judges said, "Girl, that's not Halloween. You should have phrased it like this. This is like Halloween, but darker and sadder. Maybe say it's like black coffee." Listen, tea is fun gossip. I can't fun gossip about your trauma. So that you, so you got hooked on, have you been thinking about this? Yes. So you've been hooked on this one idea. Yes. Listen. There's... And you didn't enjoy the, the actual thing that I told you. Did I enjoy hearing a secret? Yes. Did I enjoy? But you couldn't enjoy it to the fullest extent because I didn't set it up the way that you think it should have been set up. Because you put me up here, baby. You put, you said, tea, hot tea, call me later, hot tea. That's, ooh, ooh, exciting, exciting. And then I get family trauma, dark family trauma. I can't share that with anybody. But you love that. I do, but it's not something I can talk about. Now I'm just stuck talking to you about it and I can't bring that up. But you're still bringing it up. <laughs> It's so fucked up. Don't you have like fun family? Anyone in a car accident recently? Um, That's fun. One thing that you didn't see because you didn't watch the Untucked, we did have some very dramatic moments, and I just wanna I wanna go ahead and applaud Ovi Cunt. I'm so sorry that you had such an emotional roller coaster, but she did break down because oh, of no. the bad response. That wasn't fun to watch, but I did enjoy I did enjoy watching it. Now that is tea. Okay, it's a trauma that I can gossip about. So I'm sorry you went through that, but thank you for We're making fighting. good TV. We're fighting about what? Your family trauma? Yeah. Listen, there's better ways to go about sharing that. You should share it. But better. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Leave in the comments below what you think happened to our family. This is a, anyway. another example of FaceTiming with your friend on the toilet. We are just at odds with each other. We're not at odds. I'm right. <laughs> 
So here's, here's what I didn't like, okay? As the top five, the people who won in their group, they're sitting backstage. Miss Jade is sharing something that happened between her and Cat Cat. Are you paying attention at all? No, I'm really upset about this. I'm not upset about it, but I also don't understand why you... I got some major all caps tea about my today. Major tea sounds fun. You... Mr. T. That's hilarious. He had a cereal. Why is it even a big deal? It's not. You're making it a big deal. You're making it a big deal by bringing it up don't, this much. Don't blow this out of proportion. Don't try to gaslight me. Oh my god, you're <laughs> literally gaslighting me! Okay, we are fighting. We're fighting. Okay, speaking of fight though, listen to this fight. So Miss Jade Tell is sitting the major there, tea. and Dee Dee and Varushka are on either side of her, which is just like, devil on one shoulder, devil in a different costume on the other shoulder. As far <laughs> as I'm concerned from what I've seen on TV, okay? I'm okay. sure they're delightful in real life. But she's saying that she felt bullied by Cat Cat during the first episode, and then at one point, Cat Cat squeezed her boobs, and she didn't like that. She didn't like who, the way- Who said that? Miss Jade. Okay. That it took her back to a moment in time where she had been assaulted or, or bullied, and, and anyway, it just, it kind of triggered something in her, right? Mm -hmm. Miss Jade was very vulnerable with those emotions, and then Dee Dee and Varushka kind of like, worked her up. She's not gonna get away with this and all this kind of stuff. So by the time Cat Cat comes back, Varushka, because Cat Cat sits right down next to her, Varushka's like, Miss Jade said that you were bullying her, which is just not her place to do. Mm -mm. When Miss Jade is sitting right there, Cat Cat gets very upset. And then Dee Dee's talking about kind of like her past with Cat Cat and that Cat Cat has an anger issue and that whatever. Mm. It just got really messy and it almost seemed like it had nothing to do with Cat Cat or Miss Jade at that point. I got a bad taste for Dee Dee and Varushka doing that. I don't know. Yeah. I'm all for people kind of pushing the storylines forward, but once we get into trans trauma, stay out of it. Yeah. Maybe I should watch Untucked. <laughs> <laughs> they should use that for their ads for Untucked. <laughs> it's just Alexis going, maybe I should watch it. So we come back to the runway. We find out the winner is... Varushka Levels. She's crawled her way up from her first episode to the top. That was tough. That was tough for personally. You don't like her? You don't like her levels? I don't, <laughs> I don't want to ever say I don't like anybody. I'm getting a TV character, okay? I didn't like her look, no. And I also hated the way she got involved in Untucked. So then to have, after all that go down, to then have her go on the runway and then be like, congratulations, I don't know. It was my own little bitter yeah. salty. But I do love a good storytelling and I did fall for it. So perhaps that was, that's what I was supposed to feel. Fun. Then we get the bottom two. Unfortunately, Tiny is back in the bottom oh, two. Oh, that, I don't like that. I that makes it. me sad. Tiny versus Arizona. Yeah. Right? Her first two episodes, she's in the bottom both times. I think it was just kind of the writing was on the wall. I thought she did a fine job with the lip sync. Yeah, I thought they both did. Unfortunately, Arizona did a little more. So we did have to say goodbye to Tiny. Which makes me sad. I really liked her. I loved her. I saw her, her going... I like, I did something about her I really liked, I, connected to. Well, she's gorgeous, first of all. Yeah, she's funny. And I loved her style. We love you, Tiny. I'm yeah. so happy we got to know you, even from just a couple episodes. You won't be forgotten no. until next week, and then we will be back and we'll have forgotten. Not you, just... Everything. Everything that's happened already. Yeah. So if you would like to come back and join us for next week's episode, make sure you hit that subscribe button and of course the notification bell. If you would like a cameo, or no. Yes. Yeah, okay. If you'd like a cameo, we're up. both on cameo. And we that are. means you can get a message, a song, or it's whatever. so fun. Or you can also get a shamio, which is like the two of us and it's an episode yeah. and we have background and it's like, oh, so yeah. am I watching IMHO? No, I'm watching my birthday. But if you want a, a bit more IMHO, Show, we're on Patreon, mm. patreon.com slash IMHO the show. And you can get some major tea there. Also, all of our merch is at dragqueenmerch.com. We will see you next week. Goodbye. Bye. Okay, I can't tell. <laughs> I can't tell if I'm embarrassed because maybe you're right. No, 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 or no. Or if no. you're just, you I'm put not an right. association I'm not right. on major tea. Because I don't think that there's a because right also, or a wrong. Because like, it's all subjective. Did you, like, it's did you hear that? You're not well, wrong. Well, yeah, tea is subjective. You're not wrong. But I'm not wrong. Either. But I have been wrong before. Yes. 
And you will be. And I will be so many you're more not, times. I, I don't think you're wrong. But That's I don't the wrong way to the, think about it. You you're wrong it, thinking about it like that. You took it as something. Because to me, someone texting me in all caps. I wanted to teeth, tell someone you're the only one fun. I talked to. It sounds fun. Okay, let me say it like this. Maybe okay, you okay. read it fun. Maybe you read it fun, but maybe say, okay, let okay. Me say, let say me it out it. loud. Say it the okay. way you meant it. Girl, yeah. I got some major tea about... Yeah, that still Call sounds me fun. later if you want to hear that it. That still sounds fun. Next time, don't change anything that you did. Just add crying emoji. Okay. Because <laughs> <laughs> we're millennials and we do emojis. You know Gen Z doesn't do emojis anymore? Who? Which one are they? About below us? Young, young. Young, yeah. young. Are you upset about this? I don't mean, I'm sorry. No, but did it, did you, you. are you upset about it? Not at all. But you brought it up like you've been thinking about it all week. I had been thinking about it. I thought it was funny. I thought it was a weird way Oh, you way thought it's to, funny. Yeah, I thought it was weird. Oh, yeah. Okay. It was funny. Okay. I thought it would be a funny bit, and then it started to snowball. I thought you were playing into the bit, and then it, we were so far into it at the point that I realized that it wasn't just a bit to you, mm. that then I thought it would be even funnier to gaslight you, and I regret that. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> I'm Thank sorry. You. I, I maybe I'm really feeling funny. extra sensitive because I feel like I don't ever do anything right, and in this sense, it's like, oh, wait a minute. You didn't do anything wrong. You didn't do anything. Well, like that's it. what I think. I thought it was a funny way to say it. And I thought you would laugh about it and we would laugh about it. And then you started to play into it, which I thought, I, if, well, if I wasn't you follow playing. our TikTok. I was just no, reacting. I, but I thought you were playing into it because if you watch our TikToks, okay. everyone thinks our bits are planned. They're not. So I thought we were mm -hmm. going into an organic, like, did you do your laundry at my house kind of bit? Like I was ready to, no. and then you, and then I was like, wait, maybe, but now it's, we've gotten so far into it. What if I make it worse? And so I did begin to gaslight, and I regret that decision. But ultimately, at the end of the day, <laughs> it wasn't tea. It was sad. Can I tell you something about tea, speaking mm -hmm. of? Yeah, the act, the drink? And the, the phrase, mm. the, the, the whatever. The guy on TikTok that does it, like his whole thing is like, he looks like a like a big bear. Oh, have I got some major tea today? He's like, get your tea ready. And then he has like his own opening credits on TikTok of him like making tea. I guess he sells tea now. I don't know. Anyway, oh. but he uses that term a lot. Like, I've got major tea. And I thought he was gay. And then on a video this week, he was talking about his girlfriend or his wife or something. And I was like, Once tea you know gets to I... straight white men, I don't know that, I don't know that we need to use it anymore. Yeah. No I hate don't... to him. I really enjoy the yeah, videos he Yeah, he might still makes. be gay and just have a wife. Christian Peralta, fuck. I am so close-minded. Yeah. Okay. I'm so close-minded. But here's what you're right about. Okay. I'm sick of opening credits for TikToks. The TikTok is mm -hmm. 10 seconds long, five minutes, what, what, 30 seconds long. I have a new movie I want you to talk about or I want to talk to you about but first hi I'm blah blah, blah. Yeah. no we know who you are it's right there on the bottom this side Curly pop you're describing our videos not our TikTok videos but these the comments we get where people are like stop uh, talking about yourselves <laughs> well maybe they have a point <laughs> but here's the thing you work so hard and you put little things along the way people can I skip to it if things. they have a brain if they have two brains I put little things. to rub together but if it's a 10 second video and I just want to hear the name of the show or the name of the movie, mm -hmm. I don't want to know who you are and your credentials first. Right. Say this thing first and then tell me. Yeah. So I can scroll before I hear it. Right. Okay. Well, remember I'm to gaslight sorry. your friends. I'm sorry. About what? About everything. <laughs> I think it's going to be really interesting to watch. I'm excited. Listen, I'm leaning into my villain era. You should go in the traitors. The I traitors? You're a traitor. Yeah, a gender traitor. <laughs> <What is that? laughs> oh, but before we go, I have some major tea. Yeah? What is it? My dad killed my mom yesterday. Oh man, I'm sorry. I know you wish it would have been the other way around. Yeah, I did. Bye.